So, why Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka is home to over 22 million people, of which 15% work in the apparel industry that has continued to grow rapidly since 1986, with over 800 textile factories accounting for 52% of the country's total export earnings, creating apparel for some of the world's largest brands such as Nike, Tommy Hilfiger and even Gymshark. What is it exactly about this island that captivates the world's leading brands? To unravel this mystery, we delve deep into the heart of Sri Lanka's garment industry. Today we're flying to Sri Lanka. Got a big trip, looking forward to it, going to see some suppliers. Just done a few meetings and calls here, got a couple more emails to respond to, and then we are literally gonna jump in the car and go down to Heathrow Airport. One, I've never been to Sri Lanka, and I think it's it's quite nice to go somewhere that I've never been before, and that doesn't happen that often anymore. The two manufacturers that we're meeting are very high quality, like innovation focused, um, and there's some really, really cool new product that we're looking forward to seeing. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, should be good. It's a long old way to go and we're stopping, we're flying at, uh, with Qatar and I think we're stopping at Doha. I think it's about six or seven hours there to the first leg and then we literally just get straight on the next plane and we've got, I think it's five hours then down to Colombo. Um, and then we just go straight into work immediately. I think we'll drop our stuff at the hotel, freshen up, then go into factory. So it's gonna be an intense few days. I thought, I thought I'd wash them and bruise them up before I go away to look at look my, look my Sunday best, but they're all dry other than just the tongue which is quite worrying. It makes me think, would it actually dry? Oh. <laughs> right, you are the best behaved dog in the world. Yeah. We'll say goodbye to Bill, and I'll see you, mate, in a week. Sri Lanka. <laughs> First, we began our trip with a long seven hour flight from London Heathrow to Doha in Qatar, before then boarding our five hour connecting flight to our destination, Colombo, Sri Lanka. It's been a pleasure having you on board today. Thank you for choosing the award winning Qatar Airways. Over five and a half thousand miles later, we touched down on Sri Lankan soil and set about getting straight to our first location, which was just 25 miles south. Kicking the trip off, meeting up with one of Sri Lanka's oldest and largest manufacturers and one of Gymshark suppliers, Hydromani Apparel. How are you? How's it going? Good. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. Oh wow, this is great. This is cool. Yes. After meeting up with the team and taking a brief tour around the facilities, I was interested in knowing a bit more about the 135 year old brand from Chairman and a Hydromani heir, Vinod Hydromani. You know, we, we really think we want to make a point of difference here. To be, to be the first truly sustainable product in South Asia in terms of the way we treat water and stuff like that. Yeah. How big is it? It looks fairly big. It's quite, it's, it's quite large. It's, 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 it's over 800,000 square feet, so it's over 1,000 square feet. Hi, I'm Rakhil Hydramani. I'm a director of Hydramani Apparel. And today we're sitting in Colombo, Sri Lanka at our Hydramani Discovery Lab, which is our showroom and innovation center. So we're a family-owned business. Um, the business was started by my great-grandfather over 125 years ago. And at that time, he was a tailor. So we had a tailoring shop. Um, we like to say that it was akin to tailor to the sailors. So we were catering to the cruise ships that used to visit Sri Lanka. And it, mind you, this was early 1900s. So in an era of colonialism, when um, the, the British ruled Sri Lanka. Through a chance meeting in the early 1970s, we met a Swedish gentleman who was looking for an Indian restaurant. And there weren't any Indian restaurants here in Sri Lanka, so my grandfather invited him home for a meal. It just so happened he owned retail stores in Sweden. We own factories here in Sri Lanka. 
and uh, we were on our way. Our first exports were out in 1972. I'm part of the fourth generation today. There are eight of my siblings and cousins in the business. Um, and we're really lucky that we've been around for as long as we have. Uh, I think we've constantly had to reinvent, change the way we work, um, look at new technologies, new machines. But I have to say the difference is our people. Uh, we have so many talented individuals that work with us. And um, we're really very blessed. Talking to Rakil and the guys really gave us an insight into what it really looks like both to own and run a 100-year-old brand. Through chance encounters, hard work and visionary prospects, the business has managed to evolve and expand all while remaining in the family. The company also continues to work on sustainability, preserving the Sri Lankan landscapes while still producing some of the highest quality apparel pieces in the world. And that includes this custom piece that the team surprised me with. Thank you very much. Thank you. What, what are these? Uh, these are beetles. Yeah. This type of like welcoming is kind of a traditional thing that we oh, do. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. The jacket that you laced yesterday. Oh, well, that one. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, the one that we literally saw. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's really good of you. Oh, thank you. It's such a name, is it? My name is Subodhani Disanayaka and I'm the Corporate Advice Employee Wellbeing for the Hydramani Group. And now we are in the Mihila facility uh, in Hydramani Group. Wow initiative actually started back in 2015. Uh, so it's an employee wellbeing strategy, our biggest strategy under social sustainability. And uh, we are covering uh, all our employees with employee education and projects and also we trying to give a good life for them. To have a good life, we think the life choices matters a lot, right? So because of that, uh, what we try to do is capacitate employees and so that they can take the informed decision. Other than that, we are providing resources, connecting to the resources and the other organization. So I think uh, they are really having uh, uh, good opportunities to experience a good life. No, that's just after that you can wash your hands. Oh, okay. So just put it, oh, yeah. just take oh, one of your hands. I've yes. ruined it. Is that going to yeah. die now? And then just fill, fill it in. Yes, fill some. <laughs> is it? Yeah. It's going on the January dump. Yeah. What what tree is it? Is it orange? Local orange. orange. Yeah. So next time we come, we can eat the oranges yes, from the. Yes, there's a flower as well. You can <laughs> have a flower. Pick before it evaporates. Lots or a bit? Yeah, it's okay. Is that all right? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Working with companies that really care about their employees and the local community is a huge must for Gymshark. As a brand based around family first and doing what's right, the team were keen for us to meet just a few of the children supported by the company's amazing WOW work-life system. This is very nice. Where did you get these? They made them. Yeah. You made them? Still. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I like the top. That's nice. Thank you. 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 Thank yeah. It's also daycare yeah. uh, for very young children and also children after school mm -hmm. uh, for all our employees yeah. uh, out, who are working out of factory. Um, and uh, uh, some of these kids just come to preschool, some of these yeah. kids stay out of the Because of Gymshark, I've been so lucky and I've had the chance to visit so many different countries since I was a teenager. Sometimes people will ask me, does it not get boring? And simply put, how could it? Thank you. Thank you. 
very much, young man. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done, young man. Thank you very much. Well done. What do you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we're heading to MAS Matrix, who is a key partner for Gymshark on all flat knit products. And this is an area of our product range that we think there's a massive opportunity for us to continue to expand and innovate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a gradient phase. We can get the... Oh, okay. To start off the next day of our journey, the guys at Mass brought us to a local daycare centre which is supported by the garment industry, where a welcoming party showed us to our seats. After an amazing welcome from the children, we handed out some gifts and left our mark in the visitors book before kicking off the rest of our day with a very impressive traditional Sri Lankan dance. made our way through the rest of the facility. Branding and other elements. So we further then we move to the new fat area. That space, that's one of our best selling fabric and same time like one of our best fabric which we have developed so far. We have a Kakuso fabric, you need to incorporate the cuff separately and you might have a problem where the traditional custom of gym would want to pull the incorporate. Would you blend with the uh, cheaper yarn for cancer sports? Mm -hmm. I'm Amra Akbar, business director for MAS. Today we are here at MAS Fabric Park, Tilhiria, which is uh, one of the largest industrial parks in Sri Lanka. Um, and MS has set up uh, a full verticality here. We have a knitting mill, uh, knitting technology here, as well as printing. We've had Gymshark for two days now, and um, honestly, we had a lot to show, but we've shown a little bit of, you know, some of MS's really uh, sort of secret sauce, which is our knitting, a lot of our knitting technology. We've showed uh, the seamless circular knit, flat knit technologies, uh, warp knit technologies, um, and really shown what we uh, love creating, which is product. The Sithila Preschool uh, is in Biagama, which is in one of uh, the industrial zones. And we have, uh, MAS has quite a few facilities in that zone, at least five. And essentially what we've done is, um, when majority of our employees are women, and when these women would come to work, uh, a lot of their young children and their young women, young mums, uh, their kids would be at home with really no direction, no guidance. So we created this preschool um, for our employees, 
for their children to be in a safe place while they were at work. And it's really because they say a child's formative years are from two to six. And those are probably the most important years of a kid's life. Um, and we wanted that to be meaningful for our employees' children. So we created this preschool and it's a safe place where they come. And it's actually more than, we've tried to create it better than the schools around the area. So there's a fantastic uh, garden area, uh, climbing frames, play area, um, and a place where the, you know, these children can come and learn, socialize, um, sing, dance, and really have fun. So Princess Anne visited us on the 10th of January. There was a lot of prep actually before her visit, um, she, where she went, um, her, her team actually came and scouted a lot of companies within Sri Lanka. And she was here for a, for a little over a day and she had over 30 engagements. So when Princess Anne came, we actually showed her our full product capability, uh, where, you know, all our crafted product that we've done. Um, and we had Gymshark Center Stage being a British brand. Um, and she looked at it and she said, these guys, I know these guys, they're all over the place, you know. Uh, so she was very appreciative that we had such an iconic British brand uh, at MAS. Hearing how the companies that we choose to work with at Gymshark support local families and strive for a great work-life balance is incredible. But then to hear that members of the royal family not only know about Gymshark but are proud of it really brought a tear to my eye when watching this video back. But just when we thought Sri Lanka couldn't get any more special, this happened. Yeah, well, we'd finished with the factory and then they said about 20 minutes from here we can see elephants bathing in the river, so we thought we'd come and check it out. And it's absolutely amazing. So, whilst looking at the Hydromani factory, we also spent quite a bit of time talking about sort of staff welfare and, and I guess the, the things that they're pioneering there, it's, it's, it's really interesting to see and the, the levels of support that they offer for their staff is absolutely outstanding. Uh, you know, I think it, it makes a really, really big difference to the workforce there, so we, we found it brilliant that they were working on those things. For Hydromani, as well as the brilliant things that they do from a staff welfare perspective, sustainability initiatives, they, they also offer childcare for members of staff. So if you're working in the factories, you can drop your kids off, childcare is then provided by them, and obviously pick them up after, after work as well. So we were really impressed, by the way, to go in and see what MAS were doing for the local community, what they were doing for, you know, young kids in building schools and things like that and being able to spend time with them and just see the impact that they're having on the local community was, was brilliant to see too. As we wind down from the week, we're reminded of the deep connection between culture and creativity. Sri Lanka isn't just a production hub for clothing giants, it's a true testament to craftsmanship and community. From the amazing work companies such as Hydromani and Macedon with a local community, supporting their staff in any way that they can, to the smiling children we visited in the facility's free daycare. If I had to answer the question, why Sri Lanka? I think it would be safe to say the answer is the people.